this is a quick start tutorial for Cobalt Character Animations Motion Capture Plugin for Cinema 4D Prime Release 14 and higher. Today we're going to take a closer look at the editing room. So we're assuming that you have already made a couple of recordings inside the recording room. First of all, we're going to run Cinema 4D. We're going to take a closer look at the user interface. We're going to apply motion capture data to the low poly character MIA that is included with the motion capture plugin and we're going to save the project. Okay, so here we have Cinema 4D. We are going to go to the main menu. We are inside the startup layout and we're going to open the plugin by going to plugins, cobalt character animation, motion capture for prime and this time we're going to use to choose the editing room. The user interface opens up automatically and every time that you want to use the user interface, you need to connect it with Cinema 4D. So if I double click on the hip area, you will see that the corresponding hip controller is highlighted automatically inside Cinema 4D's Objects Manager. And we just click on it and there the connection has been made. We will see the corresponding sliders that trigger the forward kinematic inside the attributes manager we just need the user data tab activated so we can use the forward kinematic to make further corrections on the character Mia and on the recording that we have made we have three different tabs body hands and connect Whenever you switch to a different layout, all floating windows in Cinema 4D will be closed. Are you sure you want to close the editing room? Let's say yes, because we can easily open it up again by double clicking on this icon on this tag next to Girl Master Controller. And there it is, our user interface. Don't forget that in that case you need to reconnect the user interface with Cinema for D. Okay, good. So our next step will be to apply the recorded motion capture data onto our default character Mia. You can actually apply those recordings to any character of your own that has a basic human mesh and is fully rigged and weighted. We are going to go to File, Merge and we're going to look for our Kinect recording that we're going to load into our scene. There you go, Kinect Quick Start Tutorials. So inside the Objects Manager, at the very top, two, two new items are going to appear. We're not going to use the first one, which is the Skeleton Connect Cube, so we're going to delete it by clicking on the Backspace key. This is our skeleton that contains the data of the motion we captured in front of the Kinect inside the recording room. To keep things organized before we apply the data, we're just going to rename this skeleton. We're going to go to File, we're going to go to Edit, sorry, and select Choose, choose Select Children. Then we're going to call the Naming Tool under Tools, Naming Tool, and we're going to give it a different suffix. In our case, we're going to just call it quick start tutorial but you can name your recording according maybe to the movement that you have been making replace name and there you go so now we can reach the connect transfer controller 
by, con by selecting the Kinect Transfer Null object inside the Objects Manager right beneath the Go Master Controller, or we can go to the Kinect tab and call the Kinect Transfer Controller. All we need to do to apply the recorded movement to Mia is to simply select the hip Kinect that contains the motion capture data and drag and drop it next to the drag and drop hip Kinect field. S sorry. There we go. So now that's actually it. Now our character Mia will start moving just like the Kinect recording we have made before. So if you want to make any corrections if you want to make any corrections on the recordings that you have made we can simply open the user interface again and we can activate the forward kinematic need to reconnect the user interface simply by moving these sliders so for example you need the chest to move slightly different and you just do that this way and if you want to keep that value just control ki uh, click on the yellow area and now your chest will be 42 percent moved forward during the recording maybe you can go move forward a couple of frames and then put your slider back on zero and that is pretty much it that's all you need to do to apply the Kinect data to the low poly character Mia. We can now save her, save as, and wherever you save your Cinema 4D file that you have worked on, make sure that you save it next to the text folder that we sent to you. That way the corresponding textures will be automatically mapped. Here we have the text folder, so I could just go to the name and name it qu character quick start tutorial. Okay, that's it. I hope you had fun and that you come back for more tutorials. Visit our website for more plugins at www.coboltcharacteranimation.com.